I recognize the need to address the current paradigm, the Darwinian materialist paradigm. And so I've invested um, 20, 25 years uh, of, of my career to a critique of the Darwinian view, particularly of protein origins. So in, in a sense, um, I haven't yet moved to the point where I am fully uh, moving my science in the design direction. I've been trying to justify that move. I've only recently reached the point where I've become very interested in, in my own work and thinking about how do we do biology from a design perspective and also in um, uh, building enthusiasm among other scientists to take this new approach to biology. It's, 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 not, it, it's a project that has hardly uh, taken off and it needs to take off in order for biology to see the fruit of it. The first step is to acknowledge that living things are designed and to stop forcing biologists to think of them as material accidents. Once we take that first step, um, it's a matter of getting thoughtful people together to start asking the right questions and framing them. How do we think about life? What is life? What is a genome? We don't have answers to these questions and we're forcing biologists to, to answer them in material terms. whereas I believe the correct and, and fruitful answers will come when we leave the material paradigm and we, and we accept that these things are designed. I think if, if science is the attempt to come to a true understanding of the world around us, then the life sciences, biology, has to be uh, the effort to come to a true understanding of life. If that's what biology is, then yes, design is very much a part of it because if life is designed and that's true, then we only begin to do biology when we embrace uh, a, a design view of biology. That doesn't give us the answers, that opens the door for us to begin to get the answers and to, and to frame the questions correctly.